Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, went down into the sump and pulled this little guy out. Uh, why don't you stick around with me and uh, I'll show you how I built it. And join me in the next episode of... Here we are, um, some still shots of the done project. Trying to give you a live walkthrough this time, at least with me jumping around over here. So, um, yeah, explicitly I wanted to go through some of the processes that have to happen. This is a little longer video. Um, and yeah, here we go. Um, I'm doing this on the Sump City Radio Discord as well. So the camera footage may be, well, I don't know if it's any better or any worse than the others, but uh, I'm trying out something new. I wanted to do this with friends. Um, right now I'm talking to several people all at once, I believe all over the world, um, you know, helping me along with this. So I wanted to use this CD case. Um, yeah, that's right. That's a CD storage case from the nineties. <laughs> I have several of those. Um, and you know, I, I, I think I label, I'm going to label this a scratch build. I mean, it's really not, it's more of a kit bash. It's just several kits from several decades um yeah there we go knocking it all down there um i like i said i, I just wanted to go through you know what is the process what is happening you know and you're just testing stuff out and knocking stuff down it's one of the funnest parts of the whole thing um yeah this is the end result that i managed to get 14 inches high um it's gonna be a, a piece that sits in the center of the sump uh, on my wall board and I'm gonna build stuff to go back and forth from it you know prepping uh, the already painted stuff you know we got white glue and sand we're gonna uh, we sanded it down real well so the paint sticks but then we're gonna we're gonna add this part to um, yeah that's a that's a crazy tile I got from another gaming system again um, yeah, this, there's so much stuff besides Games Workshop stuff. There's old Games Workshop stuff on here, too. So, um, yeah, and using pieces and parts and cutting them up, uh, this, this is one of the reasons why I like doing terrain. Um, and, you know, now I can do it talking to lots of other enthusiasts you know from around the world thanks to the sump city radio discord um thanks all of you guys over there for providing this um i just am stunned with the amount of work that i'm getting done here um yeah and this is gonna be a double triple glue up job um you know i don't want this to fall apart that's why i put it on a tile but since originally i was going to uh uh, put it so it was freestanding, but it, it's not going to be solid enough. Yeah, you can see I'm talking to several people while I'm doing this um, who all just, you know, popped in to say hi and maybe work on their own modeling things, you know. Modeling's like everything else, you know, when you get, you get a group going, you know, of enthusiasts, you know, things go faster and well and you're not thinking about things so much, you know, and maybe get an opinion. It's great. Um, so this is basswood that I'm using here, not balsa. Um, yeah, here we are. We're getting ready for the final um, glue job up. Um, once again, being pieces that, you know, I want to play on, uh, you got to make spots for models to sit. Um, the super glue uh, baking soda trick coming in handy again. Yeah, here comes some test stuff. Man, we're rolling through this. And there it is, the spin. You know, when it's not glued. Here it is. Um, this is the test right here. You know, if you want to get past the, hey, somebody knocked it over. This is this is part of the building process you got to be aware of and, and test for it. Um, yeah, I wasn't really happy with how it was sitting, so we were going to make some other adjustments, not to mention I needed other platforms. Uh, here's some doors, and these are all going to be double glued. I use super glue to keep it in place, and then 
uh, the E6000 for the strong glue. Um, most of everything that I do is glued so many times that, you know, it would it'll really take an issue to get this to break, um, you know, something catastrophic. But then, uh, you know, the other nice part about the platforms and everything is it just reinforces your glue job. Um, yeah, it's been, I think we're still at 14 inches right around that point. Um, we're gonna get done with the initial reinforcements here and uh, then I will get back to you once we get to the second stages. Thanks. So, it's around 3, 3.30 in the morning in my time here. Um, like I said, I was doing uh, all the filming for this uh, on the Sump City Radio Discord. I don't normally get up this early in the morning for very much. My children's birth, the Marine Corps, and this hobby, I guess. I just wanted to show all of you that JD in the Sump Sea modeling is very important. A little bit of reinforcement here. I got part of a sump tower putting on here. Um, just more gantry ways and walkways to get up here. Um, yeah, I'm doing all of this at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> on Thanksgiving, no less. Um, and we're partsing out. Um, uh, thanks so much, Craig, for coming on uh, a little later on and uh, standing with me. I was trying to get um, some of the Australians and New Zealanders to come on in because they kind of complain that I always do it off time that they can join. Um, got a couple on. Um, this is all being done uh, before the Thanksgiving holiday, the, the morning before. Um, this is a piece from the 80s, I believe, a space walk or something a friend of mine gave. Um, but yeah, uh, inspiration came while talking with, uh, with Craig. Thanks so much, buddy. This is just... You know, I'm, I'm starting to really get into it at this point. Um, talking with uh, several people, we're getting this set up. Um, and like I said, with the gluing and everything, you, uh, you, you just start getting lost, especially when things start working. Um, I, yeah, reinforcements. I want people to be able to get to every side of this board and get on the inside. Um, I will be adding lighting effects to it probably after I've painted. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a video on that part or not, but uh, this thing really started taking a life of its own at this point. And um, I, I couldn't be happier with, <laughs> with how it's going. We got an under platform, which of course means that at some point we're going to need an over platform. Other things were going on it. Um, yeah, so that piece on the top there is from the back of a uh, toy truck um, with a winch. Uh, I took it apart and took all the gears out of it and everything, but the winch works. Uh, very pleased with that. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do some sump, sump water, uh, and it's a stolen idea. Um, it's just tissue paper, um, and you know, and in this one, I'm using Mod Podge. Um, you can use PVA glue that's watered down. You could use PVA glue if it's thick, if you want to. It's just a little bit harder to spread around. You know, so you want to do it. But yeah, what, what you're going to do is you're going to lay the, the thin tissue paper on top. It's going to crinkle up and look like water effects. Um, I've never, I, I like calm, placid sumps, um, but they're a lot harder to make because you got to do a resin pour. 
So this is a lot faster, not to mention there's several other steps that I could do. You know, you could go right along. What we're doing here, I got sand mixed into a Mod Podge mix, um, but I'm gonna be laying it around. Um, and basically, what am I targeting? I'm targeting joints that I think are probably gonna be, uh, need another reinforcement. Um, yeah, so you could also sprinkle sand all over the place for another texture. Um, you know, I used to buy those texture paints and stuff. I still do, but on a piece this big, it's a little bit uh, too pricey, you know? And um, so here's the final spin um, of the build. We're coming to the end of the video here. Um, I wanted to thank all of you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you like it. Um, any comments at all, I love and you guys have a great night.